Well, I understand you have a time of comment and questions and thoughts. You're welcome to ask me any questions about what I said or about being transgender. If you don't know much about that, I'll be glad to uh, um, tell you a little bit more about what, about what being transgender is. I'll tell you a quick story. When I came out to my father, who had been a Baptist minister for 20 years before going into higher education as dean of students at a college, um, I showed him a picture of me before I had transitioned, but a picture of me having transitioned. And uh, I said, do you know who this is? And I, he said, no. I said, well, that's me. And the first words out of his mouth were these. I don't see any problem with being Christian and transgender. And those were exactly the words I needed to hear. Yeah, it, it couldn't have been said any better. What helped Joanne uh, along the path to being able to survive in the marriage we're in is that uh, a couple of things. One, to recognize that if it was a sin, it's God's job to convict, not hers. But I think more importantly, um, she realized that she loves the person and not the package. So, you know, that kind of connects with what you're saying. You know, it's the person, not the package that we love uh, that's going to turn into dust someday. And uh, that really doesn't mean as much, does it? No one else had it. Um, the D, I'm not sure of, but lesbian, well, I misunderstood. T, okay. lesbian is L, gay is G, bisexual, which is the largest part of the group of LGBT, is B, T is transgender, I is intersex, uh, some people you know uh, are born with ambiguous genitalia, there was a South African woman a few years ago who was an Olympic runner and they said she looked awfully male and wanted to have an inquiry and you know found out that yeah she was intersex she didn't know it she'd been raised as a girl and um they allowed her to continue to compete but that's um that's the i the q can mean queer um especially younger generation lgbt people prefer the term queer to any of the other terms or it can mean questioning someone who's just beginning to think about their sexuality or their gender identity. The key thing to understand that sexual orientation, LGB, and gender identity, T, are not conflated. They're not necessarily together. And so a trans person, it becomes quite complicated because in staying with Joanne, the question is, well, was I a lesbian when I got married or I'm a lesbian now, you know, uh, when you transition it becomes a whole different question if you stay in a marriage. So um, that complicates things. But there are other initials besides those. A is affirming for people that aren't um, LGBT, but affirm LGBT people, they can claim that A. It's not a scarlet letter, but uh, it's something that you can, you can wear with, with pride in terms of recognizing who LGBT people are. That help? Oh yeah. Thanks. And and all of those groups of people. Science is confirming to us we're born that way. You know, it's not a choice. You know, when did you choose to be heterosexual? You know, or when did you choose to be a, a, a guy or a girl? You know, and, and so it, it, it's helping us to understand that's part of the diverse creativity of God's creation. You know, and we should celebrate. Well, the signs, the symbols, even the declaration that uh, we affirm uh, that LGBT people are loved children of God and welcome here. It's important because so many LGBT people have been beaten up by the church, basically. Uh, some literally, uh, others figuratively and have had to leave places of worship, tried some things else and had the same thing and, and have pretty much given up being part of a faith community. So. Saying something explicitly, you must have heard us talking about it. Uh, saying something explicitly yeah, about who we are as a community of faith uh, that affirms LGBT people is, is, is really very important. While you're passing the mic, one thing I should add about transgender is that transgender is a broad spectrum. It kind of embraces the idea of even you know people that are occasional cross-dressers to frequent cross-dressers. <coughs> And then you get to transsexuals at the end, and you have pre-op, post-op, and non-op transsexuals. Pre-ops, they're waiting to have gender-confirming surgery. Post-ops, they've had it. Non-ops are those that have 
chosen it not to have surgery or can't afford surgery, it's quite expensive, uh, or for health reasons can't, uh, can't do it, and sometimes for spiritual reasons don't want to do it. So it, um, it's a broad umbrella term for a small group of people, um, about maybe 1%. Some have said as high as 5%, but I think 1% is probably close to A simple way to do that would be to wear a rainbow flag pin. You know, a pin, I have um, a pin that like is about one by two of a, of a rainbow flag that I wear sometimes. I also have a neck who's a fish that's rainbow striped, you know, which is a Christian symbol. Uh, but little things like that, LGBT people are going to see, are going to pick up, and they're going to know what it means. Do you know where you can get them? Uh, yeah, um, Common Ground. Common Ground, yeah. Uh, do you know where that is? The bookstore down on what's the street? Uh, fourth. Of, uh, yeah, it's it's near Cary Town. Yeah. Yeah. It's right in that area. Uh, it's a bookstore, but they have a lot of those kinds of things there as well. Or you can get it on. Yeah, it's language. Common language, that's it. Thank you. It's right in that little square at oh, Harry It's Town. near the, it's right. By the out bar? Yes, the out bar. And of course, you, like everything else, you can get Wrong it on court. Amazon. <laughs> 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 Thank you for wearing that safety pin, too. Uh, that, the safety pin with the combination of a little rainbow ribbon or <laughs> patch or something would say, hey, we can talk to you about that. I'm okay with that. Thank you very much. Bullying is a very serious problem for the whole LGBT community, um, but especially transgender people. The rate of suicide amongst transgender people is about 20 times the uh, regular rate of suicide, in part because of that kind of bullying and difficulties with employment, uh, losing family and friends, all those issues. You're very welcome. Glad I'd be here. Me too.